Well, hello there. It is Stax. I'm back with another deck for your viewing pleasure today. Today we're going to be playing some Ashaya. I have liked Ashaya ever since Ashaya was spoiled. And I haven't seen anybody doing anything with Ashaya. So I might just be the first Ashaya deck on YouTube. I have not checked. But I probably am. Unless it's just like some... Um, what, what is it? Uh, pre pre-release uh, early access event type thing. Yeah, I think I might be the only actual deck that's trying to do something in the current meta though. Um, so, yeah, I brewed up this uh, this Asaya deck. Um, this is going to be just full disclaimer. This is going to be the first iteration of this deck um, because I am currently transitioning this deck into Abzan. So once I get the Abzan build and you know test it out, get some footage recorded with it, then I, I will be showing the Abzan version. Um, there is a reason, a big reason why I'm considering going in the direction of Abzan with this deck, and I'll get into that um, momentarily here. Um, but before I get into the deck, I just want, as usual, if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I would be greatly appreciative to have you as a permanent lifelong viewer of the channel <laughs> but all that stuff out the way let's go ahead and get into the deck tech so the Ashaya in case you don't people may not even know what Ashaya does because nobody really plays with it so for those that don't know what Ashaya does um, Ashaya soul of the wilds power and toughness are equal to the number of lands you control non-token creatures you control or forest lands in addition to their other types they are still affected, affected by some of these sickness so, this is a very powerful mythic. Uh, I remember the first time we got um, a Shia on a card was with that old like flip uh, Nissa, like the from the uh, MTG Origins, where it showed like all the planeswalker and the creature forms, and they flipped into the planeswalker side. Um, Nissa used to make an Ashaya token, so um, that was our first time seeing a Shia. Uh, but this Ashaya is much better than that token. So this deck is built around her. It's all, it's all built around getting it out as quick as possible. And basically, um, we this is a Haymaker deck. So we just want to slam Haymakers, the big the big spells that we got from Zendikar, the uh, Emerus Call, and the uh, Symbiosis. Um, which, these cards are totally situational. They are big, flashy spells and mythics, but they are totally situational. Um, so a lot of times we may end up just playing, those, playing them as lands because we don't need to play them. But when we have an excess of mana like we normally end up doing, um, these spells are good to have when you just need something to sink your mana into um, besides Kindred. So let's go ahead and run down the deck, the, 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 the deck list and then I'll explain everything um, once we run through the list. So we got three Gilded Goose. Um, I had four, cut it down to, to three because... Just drawing excess amounts of goose is bad. Um, I got three Lotus Cobra. Had four, cut it down to three. I feel like three is the right number. You don't want to be you don't want to be drawing excess amounts of cobras either. Then I got four Dryad of Elise and Grove. Uh, this card is the one that you really want four of in the deck because he is like the meat and potatoes of the the synergy that goes along with with how this deck plays. So uh, I got three. Kazandu Mammoth, um, Early Pressure. You'll notice I got a lot of three drops here. So I'm running uh, 10 three drops. And uh, that is mainly for um, early the early game plan, the ramp. And then it gets us to Karuga, which draws us cards. So you want a lot, you want as many things on the field as possible if you drop a Karuga so that you can draw, you can draw a lot of cards off of Karuga. Um, so yeah, three Mammoth, Early Pressure. Three Lanawar Visionary, uh, Ramp draws us a card. I feel like it's very essential to the deck because you don't want to... A lot of times you, you might end up being caught to where you don't have very much in your hands. So Lanawar Visionary is kind of like a bridge between the early game and then the mid game to help you, you know, keep gas in the hand. Um, I had four, but then I cut it down to three. I feel like three is the, the right number for it. Uh, four, Yasharn Implacable, uh, Implacable Earth. Um, this card, uh, I had three, but then I put it up to four. Because when you go, let's just say you go turn one goose and then into a turn two 
um, Dryad, you want to be following up with a turn three Yashorn, um, fetch up those two lands and then be able to play them with Dryad of Elise and Grove, like, you know, right away, <laughs> ideally. Um, so, yeah, this this card, and, and then besides, people, it's it's sort of intimidating, so people end up killing it, so you don't mind that, the extra copies. Um, most likely when you play the first one, they'll just eat removal, and you can play another one, fetch up some lands, thin out your deck from drawing so many lands. Uh, and then I got two Kenrith, the Return King. Uh, yeah, this card, like I said, Dryad of Leasing Grove, you definitely want Dryad of Leasing Grove in play because it synergizes so well with Kenrith. There's been times where um, all the modes on Kenrith matter. All the, all of the activated, activated abilities on Kenrith matter when you have Dryad out. Uh, the, the meta right now is very soaked with spot removal. So Kenrith, he can bring your stuff back. There's been a lot of times where I've used him to bring back an Ashaya and then um, just give everything haste and then swing in for the kill. Um, four Ashaya, of course. Two Karuga for the card draw and the uh, the body, the big 5-4 body. Um, and then I'm only running one green, Ancient Green Warden. Um, if you get it down, it's really good to have, you know, those those landfall triggers with, with the... Uh, the uh, Fable Passages coming back, whatnot. But it's really not essential. It's just like a good one-off to have in the deck. And if you get it down and it can stick, then it's good to have on the field. Um, the Reach matters too because there's a lot of stuff that flies. Um, and then uh, for the Haymaker, the main Haymaker of the deck is Emerus Call. Um, I'm not in love with this card, but you don't have a whole lot to do with your crazy amounts of mana that you'll be generating. So um, this card will matter because... You'll get a lot of stuff out on the board that you'll want to protect, and this can protect it for a turn. You'll know that they won't be able to board wipe your Shia and your Karuga and your your um, Kimrith away and all that stuff. So this is good protection for that. Um, Symbiosis is good to find things that you may need. There's a lot of times where I've used it to find a Dryad when I needed a Dryad to get my Kimrith activations. Um, and then the uh, Undo Inversion um, is like the main... The main best card to play in the deck when you have an Ashaya out because Ashaya turns all of your non-token creatures into lands and this blows up all non-land permanents. So if you can untap an Ashaya and you have an undo inversion in, in play, chances are your opponent should have no permanents after that because you can just board wipe them and there's nothing they can really do about it. And you'll have all your stuff and they'll have nothing. Um... One thing to keep in mind as far as like uh, synergy with the deck is that if you, you're playing Gilded Goose, so if you have food tokens out, you can't sack your food tokens because of uh, Yasharn, um, which is a little bad synergy with the deck. But it's a, it's a, in my opinion, it's a good trade-off because we need the Gilded Gooses to get on board early. So it's good when we, when we draw the Gilded Gooses and be able to get on board early. A lot of times when you just go ahead and use your food token to play, uh, yeah, Sean, you're not really concerned about generating any more food tokens anyway. And if you play an Ashaya, it basically turns your Gilded Goose into a Bird of Paradise that taps for green. Um, and if you have a Dryad out with Ashaya and Gilded Goose, then you basically have a Bird of Paradise at that point because your, your Gilded Goose can tap for any any mana. Um, yeah, and then we're running uh, six planes, seven fours, four branch loft pathway, and three fable passage. Uh, that gives us 20 actual lands, but then we're running all of these spell lands. So that's 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. It's 31 actual lands. Um, and then for the sideboard, um, of course, I got Chain Web, chain web Arachnid to, to fight those, uh, you know, those, those rogues. <laughs> and, uh, and anything that flies or anything that mills, they want to mill stuff into our graveyard. Uh, two Kabira Takedown. Um, for some for some added removal, if we we might be going up against an aggro deck or something, that it might be good to bring this in. Uh, four scavenging ooze to go against mill and to go against other gra graveyard decks like Rakdos, um, Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. So again, for those mill decks that want to mill us out, Elspeth is good against them. Um, and then three Gem Razor. Um, there is a Kadazu, um, Lion or Leopard or whatever it is that bounces two lands. It's a six drop and when it comes into play, it bounces two lands. I did experiment with it for a while, um, but I felt like it was just too slow. So I ended up taking it out. Um, but this is the final list that I came to the conclusion is the, the good list. Um, but like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm, con I'm converting this over to Abzan 
because the meta right now, you'll see in the gameplay, I, I face a lot of decks that are just spam removal, spam removal, spam removal. There's a lot of decks that just run good early, you know, two, three drop removal and uh, lots of card draw and they just want to play one threat and they just spam removal and take all your stuff out and just sit behind that threat and force you to have to deal with it. Um, so to combat that, I like to play creature decks and I know there's a lot of people out there that like to play creature decks and just being forced into a corner against a lot of removal and a lot of a lot of counter spells can be it can be annoying I know that it can be annoying so if we play Abzan we then get access to um, um, Eerie Ultimatum so if they kill all of, all of our stuff in the early and mid game um, we can resolve an Eerie Ultimatum and get all of our stuff back from the graveyard um, so that is that's a route that I'm trying to go with this deck. I'm going to test it out, and if it if it ends up being viable, then I will do a follow up video to this list. Um, so we'll be able to compare the two and see how they do. Um, I think this deck has a lot of potential to be a serious deck, but this is not a deck that you go and build right now, considering what the meta is with spamming removal. This is a very very fun deck, um, but. All of the super heavy removal decks out there right now. This is not a deck to go and build to rank up with. Um, this is something you play if you're already in Mythic. Uh, you're just clowning around. You just want to play something different. Um, this is a good deck to play if that is the case. This is not a deck for you to go and, and craft all of these cards. There's a lot of Mythics in here. Um, so don't go and craft all these cards. If you have the cards already, then go ahead and assemble it and play it and have some fun with it. But this is not a deck that I recommend you playing right now. I'm trying to rank up with if your goal is to rank up don't don't go and play this right now because this the removal is very heavy um I'm hoping that with with Calhoun we get some better um big white and big green spells to play that can pair along with these and then that'll make the that'll push the deck a lot further up because right now I feel like this is just a tier two deck um you can beat some tier one decks with this you you'll see in the gameplay why I beat some some good viable decks. Um, that are in the upper tiers of the meta, but um, it's just very, very susceptible to removal. This is a creature-based deck, so you're going to be very, very susceptible, susceptible to removal. So um, just bear that in mind. I don't want anybody to, to waste their wild cards crafting this deck and then <laughs> go out and play it and find out that they're going to have a hard time getting anything to stick on the field or getting anything to resolve. So Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Siri, I wasn't talking to you. I'm talking to <laughs> my viewers. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's enough of that. Let's get into the gameplay before Siri butts in again. <laughs> Two is shy as in a snake sitting in a tree. Nui and Hofer. I guess I'm going first, so I keep it. Oh, Abzan control. Control! Control! Alright. Mr. Abzan Control. I have an elephant. You have control. Oh, Fiend Artisan. Fiend Artisan can't help you. He can't help you out of this. Let's go with Shia. Attacking with the elephant. You can take nine if you'd like. Nui and Hopper. Extinction event. Selecting odd. Oh, you can't pay for it. It's alright, I have another shy if you kill it. It's fine. I have another one. Oh. 
Oh. Oh my. Alrighty. Uh, I think. I think I need to just play this. No, wait. I don't want to sacrifice the food. I just want to use it as a bird of paradise. There we go. Just use it as a bird of paradise. Alright. Swing in. won't be destroying anything your only option the extinction event on odd but then the angels will get you <laughs> million hopper what are you gonna do what's the plan do you have a plan do I look like the guy with a plan He's probably got an extinction event. Oh, just some mythos. <laughs> what what are you doing, man? <laughs> Nui. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> the Hendron. The infamous. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, I guess he's gonna rope me. Uh, let's go! <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I got spell land, so you're gonna cost me life, but I'm gonna keep you. Uh oh. The infamous blue black rogues slash spam removal. Incoming. Julia. You gonna kill my goose? My goose did nothing wrong. Gonna drown in a lotch? Heartless act, my goose? Nope, just a soaring thought thief. Just a soaring thought thief. Uh, I guess I just play my visionary. I really wanted that to be another land. I'll kill my visionary? Why are you killing the goose? Why are you killing the goose? <laughs> That's retarded. I guess I guess maybe she wants to have drowning the lodge up to counter something I'm gonna play. Come on. Let's go. I'm sad, I'm crying. Alright. Yeah, you you're killing my stuff. Good job. Alright. I'm gonna have to try to outrace you with the elephant. Gonna drown in and launch my elephant? Oh. Maddening cacapony. Mill, 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 mill. Mill. Here comes a counter spell. Here comes a counter spell for my. <laughs> I'm gonna attack first and see if he does something about my elephant. Oh, no priority, no counter spells. No counter spells. Got some more removal. Spam it. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna hit me with Zareth. 
Zara? She looking in my graveyard? Here comes Zara. <laughs> oh. Okay. What are you taking? A boar? That you can't <laughs> you can't uh search anything? Alright. Uh I think I just play Karuga here. Do I want to get hit with Zareth again? Is the question. Because I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure my. What do I got in my graveyard? Oh, I don't. I don't want him taking an Ashaya. That would be bad. So let me just swing with the elephant. Swinging with the elephant. If she attacks me with her two guys, in theory, I possibly can kill next turn. Oh, oh no, never mind. Never, never mind about that. I am going to kill Zareth if she attacks with Zareth, though. Oh, not not attacking with Zareth, huh? All right. What is the play? I think the play is to just play a land. Uh. Playing a Shia right now ain't gonna make much of a difference. It'll it'll make my guy go up two more, but it still gets chump blocked by one of these guys. So I think I just attack. Taking it. Taking it like a champ. Alright. I'm in firm control here. Unless you have a counter spell, your guys are dead. <laughs> um, let's just go for it. Counter magic. All right, good game. <laughs> the Hedron. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm only. I'm on the draw, and this is kind of slow. So, if I keep this, I'm going to be playing from behind. I would rather not be playing from behind. Alright, this is better. I only need one goose. Russ! Uh-oh. How much do you want to bet that this is going to be rogues? I'm willing to bet this is rogues. I'd really like a turn three play here. Or a turn two play, I mean, but a three drop. Alright, you gonna kill my kill my goose? Alright. Man, beat all these decks that just spam removal. They don't want you to have anything. They see any creature they like, must kill it. Must kill it now. Oh, this isn't rogues. It's Esper Control. Does it resolve? No, of course not. I don't know why I thought it would. What what were you thinking, Stax? Resolve? We don't let things resolve here. Does it resolve? Does it resolve? Of course not. Oh man. These decks are so annoying. Does it resolve? Thank you. 
I'm sure it's gonna die. I'm sure it's gonna eat removal. It's gonna eat removal. Let it be a shadow of the sky so I can draw. Of course not. <laughs> Alright. Shia number one. Turn it to my hand so you can counter it. <laughs> oh man, these people. These people. Return. All right. All that for a litho form engine? Oh man, I wish I could stop drawing land now. That would be great. To not draw lands right now would be excellent. Gonna gain your life? Copy your gain life trigger? That's cool. <laughs> oh my god, really? Oh. No point in me playing Kenrith right now. You gonna blow up my my food token? <laughs> and these people, what enjoyment do you get out of this? Oh, uh, I guess I need another Shia. Make them have to deal with a Shia. It's just going to be another removal spell. Oh, look at that. How did I know? Alright. I need to blow that Lithoform engine up. Spam more removal. Russ, spam it. He must not have it. Oh, it's bad for him if he doesn't have it. If he can't get rid of Kenry. Uh-oh. That's bad for you. You can't get rid of Kenry. I'm about to draw a bunch of cards here. Well, a few cards. I think I want to get Thrix. Well, he might board wipe though. Um, I guess I'll just put the mammoth down. Yeah, I'll put the mammoth down. So he'll have to a shatter the sky to have to get out of this. Alright, that's not gonna It's not gonna save you. It's not gonna save you. Okay, <laughs> tapping my Kenrit down. 
Uh, let's go ahead and fetch. I need to kill him now. Eight, nine, ten. I need to put some counters. Wait, is that lethal? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, that's lethal. Eh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a bird. I rarely get the birds. For some reason, with this deck, the game hates giving me birds that lead into a, a turn two, three drop. But I have it now. I have it. Pialo, Paolo, Polo, Marco, Polo. <laughs> um, just gonna go ahead and get the elephant down for pressure. You must kill the elephant. The elephant is bad. Bad juju. Payalo, are you going to kill my elephant or are you going to exile it? That's fine. I'll get the elephant back when I destroy all permanents. <laughs> oh, there we go. Inversion. You can take zero. Take it. Oh, crystalline giant. I like him. I like Crystalline Giant. What does he have? Oh, he's got a 4-4 a four, four counter. Oh, he's got a 1-1 one, one counter. Make him a 4-4. Four, four. You take zero. Take it. You're gonna... You can't banish him like my Ashaya. Sorry. Ashaya's a land. You don't have an answer, do you? I'll take your four. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Oh. Oh. Killing everything. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get a Kindred. I have a Kindred. You gonna kill it? You gonna banish and light my Kindred? Of course you will. You always have it. You're gonna be very sad here. <laughs> You're gonna be very sad when I when I cast the inversion. All right. Uh. Go ahead and fetch a land. Fetch me a lens. Lens. Uh, I actually need another. Need another white. Go ahead and cast another Kenrith. Gonna bash and light it too. Payalo. This is gonna end badly for you. Banish and light. Shatter the sky. <laughs> Here we go. Shatter the sky. Shatter it. Shatter it. Why would you play that first? Why would you play that? <laughs> um, you got first strike. All right, well, let me, I'm gonna cast the Karuga so I can get my card draw off of it. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna swing for five. He's gonna shatter the sky here. 
That's fine. I'll get card draw. Then I'm gonna blow up. I'm gonna blow up his inversions. And it'll be it'll be glorious. Paylaw, what is this deck you're playing? It's not gonna get it, buddy. <laughs> Not gonna get it. Oh, you don't have anything else to play? Alright. Well, sucks for you. I'm gonna blow up your vanishing lights now. Unless you counter this. But I have two more. <laughs> Oh, anticipate. Are you anticipating a counter? Or are you trying to find another Shadow of the Sky? Shadow of the Sky? Oh, how did I know? They always have it. Oh, now you just have a Murr. Murr can't save you. It's over for you, man. This is over when it began. You just didn't know it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Another, another Yishan. Yishan. You gonna play Ugin? Please tell me you have Ugin in this deck. It'd be a shame if you didn't. Alright. I don't know what you're doing up there. But my guy's gonna get indestructible. Be ashamed if you don't have Ugin. Please tell me you have something more here than just shatter the sky. Anything? No. <laughs> oh. It's game. <laughs> I have a snake. And I'm on the draw. I'll keep it. Oh, I'm up against Mono Red. Mono Red. That means my snake is going to bite the bullet. But it'll be removal. I'd rather be wasted on on the snake. Oh, and he stole my Shia. Gonna remove my snake. You wanna stomp it? I just might actually. I was gonna say I just might actually. <laughs> I might actually block the robber. How do they always have? They always have things. They always have it. Uh, and then I have to pay life for this land. It's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I need to go ahead and fetch now. I need to fetch. Oh, why did I get that? Why did I do that? Should have gotten... Should have gotten uh, two green. Well, I should have gotten a green. Here he goes. What are you going to do? Are you going to burn my dryad? Attack with your robber. I don't care. I'll block it. I'll block it all day. You could just play a giant. Play a giant. Alright, blocking your robber. He has to go. Or you can waste a spell. Alright, wasting a spell. 
but your robber still dies. And I'm fine with that exchange. Alright, now we have the correct lands. We're a little slow on playing lands here now because my Dryad is dead. Razalix killed my... You know I'm going to block this, right? Um, I'm wondering do I just... If, if I don't block it, then I know he's going to play his Giant. So I don't want him building up a board. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not concerned about that. What say you? About a 7-7 now. <laughs> what do you have it to say? He can't save you. Uh, could play Kenrith, or I could wipe the board. Oh, I can't wipe the board yet. I got Well, I could wipe the board, but I gotta pay life for it. Um, Kenrith maybe. I play it safe. I play Kenrith. No, he may. He may have um. He may have uh what you call it Embercleave. I don't want to get Embercleave. Em getting Embercleave right now would be bad. Uh yeah, let me just go ahead and Oh, I gotta I gotta pay this pay this land. Man, that sucks. Alright, I gotta go down to six. Giant. Oh, it's got haste. All right, I need to gain some life. I'm gonna need to gain life. Uh, I'm gonna attack with my Shire. I need to start getting his life total down. Out of here, Red. <laughs> uh, negative five below. Not caring. <laughs> what? What are these people? What does that even mean? Negative five below. Not caring. All right. All righty then. Uh oh. This is a landfall deck. Landfall. That means my uh my snake here is gonna eat removal. Gonna eat a one mana removal spell here. Or I drown in the lotch. Or a heartless act. <laughs> oh man. These people with these spot removals. Alright, the fairy's tutelage. Ain't worrying about that. So this is blue black meal. I was my my initial assumption of it being uh I need to play this I need to play the boar. Um 
I, I wish I didn't have to play this, but I have to. Yeah, my initial assumption of it being a landfall deck was incorrect. Alright. My boar. He's gonna eat a heartless act. Or drown in the lotch. Yes, of course. Of course. Well, at least they didn't get their turn one Heatron crabs. You know, they usually always get those. That's my turn three plays, man. All my three drops. I don't have any. I'm not getting any three drops. I have tons of them in this deck. Comes another removal spell. <laughs> oh, you people are just. Why is it? How is it fun? I'm not. I mean, not to judge anybody's fun, but. It's just not fun to me to just play lots of removal. But hey, fun is subjective. Another drown in a lotch. I'd like for you to play another tutelage. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, extinction event. <laughs> Oh man, the desperation to want to mill me out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this just as a, as a diversion. Can he, can he stay? Can I have it? Uh, I'm gonna play this tap. <laughs> can I have it, please? Can I have my druid? No. You gonna remove it too? <laughs> this is like, oh, there's another tutelage. Oh, I'm gonna have fun blowing those up. Those definitely have to die. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna be. Your meal is not gonna work out the way you wanted to here. Any cards I got left? Thirty-one. Still got half a deck left. All right. Two tutelages are gonna be down. I might as well get this uh instead of blowing it up might as well eat it get some life smack you for two and i'll just blow everything up all right play your heat drawn crabs yep I'm glad i got rid of those two lidges Um, uh, might as well get a shy. That's gonna be my heavy hitter now. I'm sure she'll eat removal. Shia, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh man. Anything else? You gonna play your hedron crap? No, you gonna hold up counter magic? Okay. All right. Well. I think this is one I'm going to lose. <clears throat> See what I draw here. If I draw a land, I'll concede. No point in going on. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven removals and counters. That's the game. <laughs> Got the Cobra. No goose, but got the cobra, so. Draquan Nico. Draquan Nico? Is that how you say it? Uh oh, he's playing black. This might be rogues. This might be rogues. My snake. My snake might bite the bullet. Oh no, he's playing Yurion. So it's not rogues. Snake still might bite the bullet, though. Yep, as one does. <clears throat> this meta is so fun, but there's so many decks that just seek to spam removal. It gets a little bit annoying.
it gets a little bit annoying. I don't want to. Not here to, to dictate what's fun to anybody, but I can't see how spamming removal is fun. Can't see it. I cannot see how it's fun to you people. But hey. Oh, now he's got that. Now he's got that. Oh. Uh, could make him sack his omen of the, of the sun here. Uh, I'd rather not, because I'd rather get some value. I want to get some value off my Karuga. So, I may just have to let this go. Because if he, if he sacks his omen, then I have to sack my druid. Uh, I don't want him getting any cards, though. So that's fine. I'll, I'll risk it. You gonna you gonna waste some removal on my dryad? Or are you just gonna get your Yuri onto your hand? Whichever you prefer, it's up to you. If I play my Shia, then he'll have to he'll have to sack his Doom foretold here without getting any value. All right. Oh my gosh. Well, I might as well sack my Karuga. Another land. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to get removed. Elspeth, Elspeth conquers death. Oh, here we go with this again. Oh. Can't sack my Shia, so. <laughs> it's non land permanent. All right, he's gonna remove my Shia. Elspeth conquers death most, most likely. Oh, Omen of the Sun, another one. Playing in top deck mode, I'd much, I'd much like to, uh, to draw another board wipe. That would be great right now. Or a Kenrith. A Kenrith that I can't activate. But no sense of holding it in my hand. How much can he block? Can he kill my elephant? He can kill my elephant. Uh, I, I don't want to give him the chance to kill my elephant. Oh, he's going to... Kenrith is going to bite the bullet. Shia. 
I will put a counter on my Ashaya. What you got to say about it? Response? Ah! <laughs> 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 Your removal is not helping you here. Oh, one on the top. Oh, Karuga. That's excellent. Oh, I got a board wipe. I have a board wipe. Um. Uh, I might as well just swing. Not gonna swing with my Kenry. All right, he's got to do something about my Ashaya this turn. Oh, it's going to be bad for him. Oh, there's the Elf Elspeth Conquers Death. Well, I might as well. Let's see what I want to do here. I guess just gain life. Well, I could put some counters on some stuff. All right. All right, he's going to be taking a lot of damage here. All right. Uh, well... I can put two counters on my Karuga, and Karuga will live. All right, what you got now, board wipe? Board wipe? Yeah, that, that can't save you. Sorry to tell you, that can't save you. Oh man, I'm extremely too high for this for this matchup. <laughs> I'm exerting a lot of brain, a lot of brain energy right now. Well, let's draw some cards. Wait, what do I got in my graveyard? What do you make me discard? Oh, I got an Ashaya. Let's go ahead and get a Shia back. Let's give everything trample. Trample. Where's it at? Let's go. Let's go. Ah! <laughs>
All right, turn one goose. Good. It's a keeper. Get my my elephant. The elephant. The elephant in the room. My goose might eat a shock here though. There's a lot of removal going around. Full disclaimer to everyone. If you want to play any creature based deck right now, you're going to have to fight through the sea of removal. That is standard. Oh. Oh my. Nectar pot. Wow. That is very interesting. Uh, what do I want to play here? Could just make a food token. Play this. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna play that. No need in doing it now. Go ahead, and swing for five. Nectar pot. Nectar pot landfall. Gain life. That's cool. Oh, mutate. Mutating onto its nectar pot. That's cool too. I like that. The Sebast. Sebast Assassin? <laughs> Let me make a food token. <laughs> There's a cobra. Um, unfortunately, I gotta pay. I gotta play the board because I'm not drawing lands. Cobra's not gonna do me any good if I don't get lands. Swing for five. I'm sure you won't block. I'm sure of it. Why would you? Gonna mutate again. Mutate. This one does. Oh. Getting all those lands. Gonna put some counters on your your great horn. Oh, we're gaining all that life. Surprise you're gonna run in ram throughs see those all the time uh play my snake um uh, what do i play here guess i'm just gonna play my my mammoth swing with both of these what are you gonna do your your pod guy is gaining you lots of life, so if I were you, I'd take it. Just as just as you did. Oh, I experimented with these guys. I didn't like them too much. Didn't too much care for them. Um, uh, I want to do. Uh, need to play Kenry. Uh, I don't, I don't foresee myself using it. So let me just go ahead and play it as a land. Give all my my guys trample. Now you have to block. You're obligated because you you aren't spamming removal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Try. Try her spamming removal. 
<laughs> Turn one goose into dryad. It appears to be a keeper to me. Needs more land though. I think my goose is gonna eat some burn against this just sky control. Yep. He's going in the casket. Poor goose. He did nothing wrong. Oh. <clears throat> Got another glass casket coming. Let's see if you put my elephant in a casket. Let's see if you put my elephant in the casket or you're going to counter my elephant. He's looking. He's scrambling through his hand. I must remove... Must remove all threats. Alright, oh, he's gearing up for a board wipe. Clearly. Playing Yurion. Sky Nomad. Might be, uh... See if this gets counter. Counter? Counter spell? Better counter it. There you go. <laughs> oh. Control players. Guys are running rapid now. Come on. What's the next control spell? Ah, let's go, Miss Mifer. I know the decisions are hard. Oh, took you a while to come to that conclusion, huh? All right, I don't want to play a shy yet because I'm sure a counter spell is coming. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh. Just see, I know I know a board wipe is coming, so I don't want to give up any more cards. Uh, so I'm just gonna go with this, roll with this, force him to have to deal with my my elephant. Yep, there's that counter. This is why you don't play anything, ladies and gentlemen. Put something on the board and force them to have to deal with it. That's how you get around counters. Alright. All I want here is a land. It's all I want. Land. Alright. Putting Yuri on this hand. Um, uh, I'm gonna eat this food token. It's just sitting here, not doing anything. All right, if he's putting Yuri on in his hand, do I think they have a board wipe? This is the question. If he boards wipes, I'll, I'll get some value, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play this anyway. Down to three. You gotta, you gotta clear the board now. Elspeth conquers death. That's a typical Urion card. Oh no, just playing Urion. Gonna exile my elephant. <laughs>
All right, he's gonna go for the exile on my elephant. That's fine. I'm gonna go for the board wipe, which is also fine. So, it's gonna have to counter it. Can you counter it? Oh wait, no, I don't want that. I want this one. <laughs> Poor Yurian. Now you have it. There's the first version of the Shia beatdown. Like I said, this deck is going to be a two-part series. So once I get the Abzan version, that's that's built to withstand all of the heavy removal that's going on right now. Um, I will be uploading that. So if you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And also, I will be doing a trick-or-treat event where I'll be giving out codes to my subscribers for Halloween coming up here in a couple of weeks. So um, I'm going to be releasing a spooky deck video um, that's going to be a deck that I brewed up just for Halloween. And I may do some live streaming and I'm going to Either way, either if I give out, if I do live streaming or if I just post a video, um, I will be giving out trick or treat codes for my subscribers. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of codes that I'll just be giving out to people who comment on the videos or people who come on to my live stream or whatever. So uh, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. I would hate for you to miss out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Leave comments down below. Convince your friends to subscribe. Join the Stax Rockman Legion, <laughs> and I will see you all next time. It's time to go smoke a bowl.